Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Monarch Monday. This is episode number seven. Today's episode is a compilation of some clips I made throughout this week showing you some of the progress of my monarchs. Enjoy. I came home from work today. There were, oh, one of them already flew away. So there were three dark chrysalises, chrysalides on this container and three emerged. One of them already flew away. And then down here, there was one yet. So I had four butterflies emerge today, which puts us at 30 five so far for the season. Let's see if we can tell if these are male or female. I'm pretty sure these are female. This one for sure is female. Let's see if I can get around to see the... Oh, no, wait. Yep, this one's female because it does not have those dark black spots. See if we can get either of these to show us. This one might be male. On the underside of the wing, it looks like a black spot there towards the bottom. Yep, this one's female. See how the tops of the wings kind of angle down rather than up? She's trying to climb up on top here. This plastic, I'm sure, is really hard to hold on to, though. Let's see if I can help her out. Whoops! That wasn't helpful, was it? She wants to let go. This one, this one is the latest one that emerged. Still hanging on to the shell of the chrysalis. You can see there's still five more green ones on this lid. All right, let's see. Let's turn you right side up. There we go. Yeah. Testing out those wings. Thinking about flying away. Anyway, so that's my update for today. I have quite a few more that will probably emerge this weekend. That will be before I post this video on my next Monarch Monday. So hope you all enjoy that. See you soon. Bye. Oh, look it. I just saw the other one. There it is. So that's the fourth one that emerged today. Getting a little drink. It's a female also. And I'm gonna go lay some eggs. Awesome. All right, you guys have a great day. So I just went to pick some milkweed for the four or five caterpillars I still have, and I found this big fat one. He's really eating his way through this, and there was really nowhere nearby that he could have made a chrysalis. So I'm glad I found him. The one back there is a little bit smaller, but this one probably will be a chrysalis by tomorrow, end of tomorrow. That one maybe a couple more days, so add two. What did I say? I'd be at 60, 62 or 63. So this would put us at the end at 64 or 65. So anyway, wanted to share. Bye. So I seem to have really bad luck this year catching any of these butterflies emerging as it's happening, but I wanted to show you how 
much different the chrysalis looks when it's getting ready, the butterfly is getting ready to emerge. It's just completely see-through. You can see the butterfly's wings right through it. And any moment, these two are gonna emerge. So hopefully I can catch it for you as it happens. Here is number 39. Emerged today while we were at church. And down here, if I can get it, is number 40. You'll see there's uh, four, five more chrysalides here. One caterpillar who's jay hanging, getting ready to form its chrysalis. Woo. All right. So towards the end of this video here, I'll give you a little update where we are. Here's another. This one is starting to turn. It's still green towards the top, but you can see it's starting to become translucent and get ready to emerge the butterfly. So 40, we're up to 40. And I still probably have between 15 and 20 more. So plenty more to see in the coming weeks. See you soon. All right, so I decided to get this guy on my finger and just kind of move him, move her over to a flower so she can maybe get some nectar and then move on. See if I can get her off my finger now. There. There we go. Oh, actually, look. See the two dots on the wings? This is a boy. So, no eggs for this guy, but beautiful, none the same. Nonetheless. And here's number 40. Oh, this one's a female. So, this one will go hopefully lay some more eggs. Once it gets a little drink. And then fly away. So before we sign off for today, I just wanted to share this with you. I was able to catch this caterpillar um, forming its chrysalis. I sped this up. This is twice as fast as normal speed. Just to show you how the chrysalis is already inside the caterpillar skin and when it's ready to emerge the caterpillar skin splits open and um, it wiggles its way out of its caterpillar skin until it shows the fully formed chrysalis which then gets hardened in just a matter of minutes and turns into that beautiful green chrysalis with the gold dots. Pretty cool. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed those video clips from this past week with the Monarchs. To date, we have 40 butterflies emerged, 20 chrysalides, and five more caterpillars for a total of 65 by the end of the season. Bye.